My nan called it the end of time. Dad called it a waste of good beer. Me, I called it another day in bloody paradise. It's been a hundred years, or less, since society had its last hurrah. We've rebuilt, sometimes better, sometimes worse, with nothing but hard yakka and the sweat of our backs. There's been bloodshed too, of course. People who will always be willing to kill for what they didn't do. But that's not most of us. We're the farmers, the brewers, the protectors and the builders. The people who keep this great land connected one town at a time. So you survive. You make do. You live with tough choices and you don't look back. Because the next town is 200 kilometers away and mate, you passed the last refuge three days ago. There's no good or evil. No right or wrong. Only the path you choose to travel down these broken roads.
You made it. Good. My name's Jake, Jake Anderson, and this is Bally Bally Hall. Right, so the job's simple and the pay's good. You'll ride along to Kokobi with a couple of my scouts as security for Cole, the engineer fixing our radio. With Kokobi, you'll be meeting Mick, the mayor of Brookton, and escorting them both back home. New blood, eh, Jake? Let's go. Who's this then? Cole, meet your new protector. We need extra muscle for our trip to Brookton, given Jake and Joe. We'll have plenty of time to chat on the way to Kokobi. Fresh meat? For dinner? You know I gave up human flesh, Ella. I'm Mishti. They call me Dreamer. Anyway, my job here, such as it is, consists of two main gigs. What I do best is convince people to save their bullets. I defuse fights, make sure people get along, keep their blood inside their skins. The other job? Cleaning up this mess. Last fellow was a bit of a legend in his own lunchbox. Now he's dead. Later. Name's Jonesy, mate. Who are you? So, my advice is this. Time comes to throw down, don't blink. None of the Darrow's out.
It's not just about the killing, mind you. Though just between you and me, fuck the Raiders, rustlers, and I- Don't let him fool you. Under that bloodthirsty exterior lurks. Well, the heart of a killer. But under that, not about- Ah, you know me so well, Ellie. Except the- Matt, new hired gun. That's all we're gonna get out of her. Come on, let's go.
This grub looked like... The job only takes a few minutes and the paddock is cleared. The scouts will no doubt be happy with your handiwork. There's only a small amount of grimy water left in the tub. You quickly fill the tub, providing clean drinking water for those noble beasts. You're already a real hero. What a hoot. Mate. Oh, here you go. You saved me a ton of trouble. Anything else today? Later. Heard you're having your chin wags with everyone. How you finding Ella? She's rough around the edges, but then we all are. It's why I like to have her squire people. Anyway, if you're done with that, time to get Cole up to Kokobi. Like I said before, should be safe and easy. Once you get there, meet up with Mick. He can be a real charmer. Or he can be a right bastard. He's a hard man, so it's best not to bullshit him. He's Jonesy's adopted dad, if that gives you any idea what he's like. Oh, I would be deeply offended if I was smart enough to understand that, I'm sure. But look, keep... You're not even an hour away from Bally Bally Hall when you spot a makeshift cart on the road. A man lies motionless on the ground. A sobbing woman cradles his body. I see it. 
The young man sitting off the side of the road is rocking back and forth, a pistol held unheeded in one hand. Neither he or his mum appear to have noticed you, lost in their own personal tragedy. Things could get dicey. Hang back while we check this out. You got it, boss. Stay back! I've got a gun! Like that, he asked me to. He said he was holding me and Mum back, that we'd never make it to Meriden at this rate, so he asked me to. To, to make sure she makes it. And I, I shouldn't even be alive. really shit what you did back there. I could have talked him down. I know it. What's it gonna take for you to trust me? What did the... Welcome to Kokobi Way Station. Now we've got Cole here, all we need to do is wait for Mick to arrive and escort the two of them back to Brookton. He should be arriving any minute now. Any minute now. There he goes. <laughs> Never a dull moment with Cole around. Oi, Tiny, 